Mining explorer Sun Silver has launched an IPO and is targeting a June listing on the ASX. The company's flagship project is the Maverick Springs Silver Project in Nevada, the USA, and Sun Silver is targeting a raise of between 10 and 13 million. Joining me to outline more of Sun Silver's plans is Executive Director Gerard O'Donovan. Gerard, welcome to the Stock Network. Thank you, Lil. Thanks for having me. Now, Gerard, you've got extensive experience with Rio Tinto and Pilbara Minerals. What attracted you to the Maverick Springs Silver Project? Well, when I looked at the facts, Lil, it was pretty compelling. So silver itself has been in a deficit for the last four years, and it's projected by 2030 that that deficit could be 125%. And us as a group, we looked at it and we believe that that deficit is 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 predominantly driven by industrial uses and industrial demand and, and predominantly solar. So if, if you look at those facts, um, solar has silver's use in solar has grown by nearly 330% in the last 10 years. So from 48 million ounces up to 160 million ounces. Silver is um, makes up 23% of the material cost in every solar panel. So it's it's heavily used in solar cells and the International Energy Agency has forecasted that by 2027 uh, solar will become the, the predominant form of, of renewable energy in the world. So that's surpassing the likes of, you know, energy uses like coal even for argument's sake. So um, it really attracted me to, to silver as a precious metal. And, and then when I looked at the region where Maverick Springs was in the United States and, and looked at the incentives that the United States government has put in place, it was even more compelling. So the United States has, has targeted that it will have 30% of its, its uh, electrical grid uh, from solar by 2030 and 45% by 2045. So currently that's 3%. So for, in order for them to, to meet those targets, that's nearly 125 gigawatts of energy by, by 2050. So it's a pretty simple solution. Solar is needed. Um, and I really like the project. So it really attracted me to, to Sun Silver and Maverick Springs. That is a very compelling answer. I'm, I'm pretty sure many people would not know of that silver and solar link. So thank you for outlining it and looking closer at the Maverick Springs Silver project. What are the key highlights of its location, mineral resource, also exploration potential? Yeah, it's a it's a globally significant project. So Maverick Springs is underpinned by a JOR compliant resource. It holds 292 million ounces of silver equivalent, um, which is 176 million ounces of pure silver. So it's a significant asset. It's in a great location. It's in Nevada, notable mining jurisdiction. Um, lots of operating mines in the region. Uh, from a geological setting, we're actually in the in the Carolyn trend. So it's carbonate host rocks, um, which which is very favorable to, to uh, mining and, and processing. And we're located uh, about 85 kilometers from a town called Elko, which is a mining town, which will service our needs uh, once we get on the boards and get running. So it's a fantastic location. The project itself uh, has, has huge upside, huge exploration potential. Uh, the, the, the resource is, is open along strike net depth, mineralization. Uh, so we plan on targeting that. We're looking at extensional drilling and we're also looking at infill drilling. Uh, but first up, we're, we're looking to optimize the existing resource. So that resource was calculated a number of years ago, uh, utilizing historical metrics, silver price of $21.50 and a gold price of $18.50. So we're in more buoyant markets, so we're pretty keen to understand what the resource will look like with, with those metrics applied. Great. And Gerard, you are currently working through the IPO process, planning to raise between $10 and $13 million. Where do you plan to deploy the funds post-IPO? Yeah, so uh, I touched on that a little bit in the question before, but we, we, have, we have a definitive plan. Uh, first up, we'll get on the ground and we'll conduct some field works. Uh, with a view to to carrying out some some drilling um that's to increase the resource size so we want to add ounces uh, to the resource and um, it's a significant resource currently and through extensional drilling and infill drilling we can optimize that and in parallel to that we will look at some some studies uh, with respect to silver paste and solar production 
um, and, and their uh, additional streams that we would be looking at while we're actively working on Maverick Springs. Uh, and also some, some optimization studies first up at a desktop level to add value to the project. Fantastic, certainly a busy period now and also following that IPO, wishing you all the best as you debut on the Australian Securities Exchange. Thanks, Adele. Thanks for your time.